I'm Yupik and I love to cook. I also love sharing my culture and having other cultures shared with me. And there's no better place to do that than right here in my own kitchen. Alaska is home to me and my amazing friends and we all have unique experiences that I can't wait to explore. So come on in, there's lots to eat, new friends to meet, and a generous serving of life as we know it in the last frontier. This is Anna's Alaska. While we have a few minutes alone, I wanted to show you a very, very quick and easy dessert. So I have here some salmon berries. They're more commonly referred to as cloud berries, but from my region, we always call them salmon berries. I pick these on the road system about 150 miles away from Anchorage here. And I also pick these around the same place. They're blueberries, low bush blueberries, both absolutely delicious. They're a little bit tart. So um, I use a little bit more sugar. Um, and this is what I'm going to bind them with. Historically, Native Alaskans, Indigenous Alaskans used fat, whether that was caribou fat, moose fat, or um, like bear fat. They would grind it up and, um, or chop it up very finely, and then they would incorporate their berries or even um, fiddleheads, greens, or those kinds of things, but it's always been a delicious, delicious dessert. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. This happens to be Crisco, because that's what we use now. But I whip it up um, until, it, until it's like a, you know, Cool Whip kind of consistency. So I don't use very much. It's only going to bind all of my berries. So this is about two cups of salmon berries. And then another two cups of blueberries. So I want to just gently fold um, all of the berries with the Crisco. So when I was making the Crisco, I added hot water and um, about a cup of sugar just to sweeten it up enough for the berries so it's not super, super tart. Um, but so you see here, I didn't use very much of the, of the Crisco. Um, for all of these berries, but in my region, that's how we like it. We love our berries, um, and we want that to be the highlight of the, of the dish, of the dessert. So that's it. It's super simple. This is a Gouda. I went off the eaten path to get this, and now you can enjoy this off the eaten path.